evaluate the definite integral. So we have the integral from negative pi halves to pi halves of sine cubed x so cosine x plus sine x co cosine x dx. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to write this as two separate integrals that are added together. So I'm going to have sine cubed x cosine x dx plus the integral from negative pi thirds pi halves sine x cosine x dx. Then I'm going to let u equal sine of x. And the reason why I'm going to let u equal sine of x because the derivative of u with respect to x would be cosine x. So du equals cosine x dx. Notice that we have that in each of these. Also, when x equals pi halves, then u equals sine of pi halves, then u would equal 1. Also, when x equals negative pi halves, then u equals sine of negative pi over 2. So here, u would equal negative 1. So now I have the integral from negative 1 to 1. Sine cubed of x is going to become u cubed du plus the integral from negative 1 to 1 of u du. Now I can find the antiderivative of each of these. So the antiderivative of u cubed is u to the fourth over 4. And again, I'll evaluate that from negative 1 to 1. And the integral of u is going to be u squared over 2. Again, evaluate that from negative 1 to 1. And so now if I plug 1 into this, this would be 1 fourth minus, this again would be 1 fourth plus, this would be 1 half minus, again, 1 half. So this would be 0. All right, let's look at the next problem. OK, we want to find, OK, we've got the integral of 7 to the x divided by 6 power dx. We want to evaluate this indefinite integral. So the trick for this one is to let 7 to the x divided by 6 power, let that equal to e to the natural log of 7 to the 6 divided by, or x divided by 6 power. Okay, so um, let u equal the natural log of 7 to the x divided by 6 power. Okay, so then the derivative of u with respect to x so the derivative of this, let's, let's rewrite this as 
x over 6 to the natural log of 7, which is the same thing as x times 1 over 6 natural log of 7. So this is just a constant times x. So when you take the derivative of this, this is going to be 1 over 6 natural log 7. So, um, let's, let's make this du equals 1, 6, natural log 7 du, and then our dx, and then if we wanted to solve for dx, it would be, um, dx equals du all over 1 over 6 natural log of 7. So now, now I can rewrite this as the integral of e, this, I let that equal to u, and then dx is going to be du all over 1 over 6 natural log of 7. So then, um, Okay, now notice here, since that's on the denominator, I can factor 1 over 1 over 6 natural log of 7, the integral, e to the u du. And then this I can multiply the numerator and the denominator by 6, so this would be 6 over the natural log of 7 the integral e to the u du, and now I can find the antiderivative. The antiderivative here would be 6 over the natural log of 7 e to the u plus c. Sometimes I get 5 and 4. And then it would be 6 over the natural log of 7 e, and u was the natural log of 7 x to the x to the x divided by 6 power and remember that this is the same thing as that. So then I'm going to write this as 6 over the natural log of 7 and then this is going to be times 7 to the x divided by 6 power plus c.